well actually before we get going here and that'll send this out to more people in the community. All right, and so as I mentioned, we have two announcements today. And so the big announcement is we just opened enrollment for our new free 30-day program called Balance, 30 Days of Tai Chi. All right, so it begins June 26th, although you'll get a welcome video June 25th. But you have to register to attend, and so make sure to click on the link in the description of this video. It's either above or below or to the side. So just look around the video, you'll find the link to register for free to balance 30 days of Tai Chi. So you'll get an email every day for 30 days, starting on the 25th, and you'll get a direct link to each video of the program. You'll get a 10 to 15 minute video every day. And so it's all new videos and it's gonna be great. There's nice, uh, I like to give a quote at the end of each class, you know, as usual. So you'll get to see that. And it's really gonna be a great experience. I'm gonna show you how to set up a baseline so that you can track your progress over time when it comes to balance. All right, at least physically. Mentally, I'm sure you'll just feel the benefits um, like you do in the weekly class, but it's really a great way to get in some mindful movement every day. All right, if you can't find the link, then just type balance in the comments and someone from our team will send you the link. All right, and then the other announcement is that if you're a new member, even if you joined in the last few weeks and you haven't been to the new member webinar yet, then please register for free. The link is also right above or below the video or to the side. And so it's th gonna be this Saturday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. All right, register even if you can't make it, I'll send you the link to the replay. All right, it's gonna be a great 45 to 60 minute session where we'll go on Zoom and we'll get to connect face to face. And so what we'll do now is our 15 minute weekly flow for balance, all right, followed by a bonus lesson, all right, and then I do have a quote for you that I wanted to share with you at the end. So stick around to the end if you can, but for now, find a place where you can do some mindful movement. So for this sequence, you don't have to get it perfect, just follow along. I'll be your mirror image. You can have a seat at any time. And we do, we're, today, it's because it's, the theme is balance, we're gonna be doing some challenging balance movements. Um, however, if there's any movements that we lift one leg up, you can always keep the toe down or you can kick down towards the earth. And so you don't have to lift up very high at all in order to get the benefits. So just meet yourself where you're at. I'll continue to remind you about that because it's very important. All right, we can always move forward from where we're starting from. All right, let's begin with our feet together or as close as you can. The hands can come to the lower abdomen and then taking a few deep breaths in and out. As you breathe in, the belly expands. As you breathe out, the belly returns toward the spine. Abdominal breathing. Breathing in and breathing out, arriving in the body. Just letting go of the worries from the day. Coming into the here and now. Then on the next inhale, you can hold the breath at the top just for a moment. Let it out with a big sigh. <sighs> just letting out tension and stress. The hands can float down by the sides. As you breathe in, the arms float up. They circle in front as you gather in the energy. Bring it into the heart. Send it down towards the earth. Sinking the chi. Breathing in. Breathing out the chi, the source of our stability and strength our healing and vitality. Breathing in, gather. Breathing out, directing down. One more time, sink the chi. And then step one foot out to the side, either foot. The arms float up in front as we open the door. The arms float down, the knees and hips soften. Breathing in, rising up. Breathing out, floating down. Or take as many breaths as you need. As always, as long as you're breathing, then we're doing okay. One more time, rising up, softening down. This time the arms float out to the side, spreading your wings. The arms float down, the palms face up, 
floating up the midline, pressing up overhead, floating out and down, holding up the sky. Breathing in. Ah, breathing out as you let go. Opening the shoulders, opening the chest, creating length in the spine. One more time, holding up the sky. This time the hands float up to the heart. One hand pushes up, the other pushes down, connecting the sky and the earth. Switching sides, keeping the spine neutral at first. And you can keep it neutral, or if you want, you can do a nice gentle stretch to the side, but never forcing it. One, other, one more time to the other side. This time bottom hand comes up, push to the corner. The other hand pushes behind. Coming back to center, push to the other corner. The dragon spreads its wings. If you want, this time you can turn a little bit more, pivoting on the feet, letting the back heel come up. Maybe even looking over the shoulder. And then once more to the other side. From here, the back hand swings around as if it's gliding on the surface of the water. The other hand comes around, the dragon swings its tail sending little waves out into the distance. Once more, drift across. And then from here, round out, hug the tree, bring it to center. The hands draw in towards the heart, push out to the side. Draw the hands back in, push out to the other side. The dragon stretches its tail. This time, as you push out to the side, tap the toes out the other way. Other side, tap the toes right out to the side. This time you can tap the toes out in front. Other side, tap the toes like you're testing out the water. This time, tap the toes behind. All right, other side, tapping behind. And you can keep going just like that, or if you want, this time you can cross diagonally behind. And then once more to the other side, the dragon stretches its tail. And then hug the tree, rounding out, and then soften. The arms float all the way out to the side, they drift down, they float up to shoulder height. Other side, floating up. And then this hand here scoops down, comes right out in front to about eye level, and then back down. Same side, just the arms at first. The elbow bends, the other hand by the hip. This time you can lift your leg on the same side as the arm coming up, touching down as needed. The rooster stands on one leg. Once again, touching down or lifting up, meeting yourself where you're at. Letting go of judgment the best you can, bringing curiosity to your experience. Very nice. Other side, the arms drift over, they float up to shoulder height. And then this hand here scoops down and comes right out in front to about eye level, and then floats back down. Same side, just the arms again. Practicing patience if you know this one already. <laughs> All right, this time you can lift your leg, the elbow right over the thigh. The rooster stands on one leg, touching down, still counts. You can touch down or you can lift. It's okay to wobble. That's how we train the balance. A little challenge is okay. But try to let go of striving. Let's bring this sense of gentle play. Very nice. Circle around, hug the tree. The arms open up wide. The hands float down. The backs of the hands face each other. They float up the midline and drift out to the side, the fountain. As we learn to move like water, soft but powerful. Learning to flow. One more time, breathing in. Breathing out, really letting go. 
and then circle in front, hug the tree, and then soften, the arms open up wide. This hand here drops down and drifts over to the other side. The hands switch positions, then they float across like clouds in the sky. Then the hands switch again, wave hands like clouds. Softening the shoulders, using only what you need. All right, this time, step in as you make a hook with the top hand. The bottom hand comes up. Step out to the side. The bottom hand floats right across the horizon. The palm turns out and then circle it back around. Single whip. As always, don't worry about getting it perfect. Just keep on moving. One more time and then release the hook. Let it drift over. Cloud hands, stepping in, take your time, drift across. All right, this time the top hand makes a hook, step in as the bottom hand comes up. And then step out, the bottom hand floats across the horizon, the palm turns out, and then circle it back around, single whip. You can always soften the hook arm if it gets tired. Being kind to yourself, please. One more time, single whip. Release the hook. Hand drifts over, cloudy hands. Stepping in, drift across, the hands become clouds. Connecting with nature. So we learn to move with effortless ease. One more time, drift across. And then hug the tree, bring it back to center. From here, the arms open up wide. The hands float down, crossing the wrists in front of the heart, step the foot in. Step out to the side, the hands brush out as well. This time you can lift your leg, once again touching down as needed. You can point it to the corner and then step back down. From here, you can kick out your heel. Straight out to the corner, either down or straight out. And then finally, you can open your arms as you kick your heel. Stepping back in. Kicking down towards the earth, or if you like, you can try to kick a little bit higher. Once again, it's okay if it's a little wobbly. That's how we train the balance. One more time, the heel kick. This time, the other foot steps in, cross the wrists in front of the heart. Step back out, the hands brush out to the sides. This time, you can lift your leg, pointing it to the corner, or just keep the toe down, if that feels better for you. This time, you can kick your heel. So, creating balance between challenge and flow. This time, you can open your arms as you kick your heel. Once again, you can kick down towards the earth or you can kick a little higher. One more time, the heel kick. The arms float out to the side, spreading your wings. The arms float down, the fingertips point up. They float all the way up and over, the hands spiral out and away from each other. Silk reeling. Spiraling the energy throughout the body, creating healing and vitality, increasing our blood flow and circulation. One more time, silk reeling. This time, step one foot in, the hands float down by the sides. The arms float out to the sides like a beautiful bird, the crane. And you can keep your toe down, or this time you can lift it up in front. Once again, just meeting yourself where you're at. This time the arms can float up and over just as much as you can, and then stepping down to the side. Then we'll do the other side, just the arms at first, the crane. And this can be your crane, just like that. Or if you want, you can lift the leg a little bit higher. 
and then one more time. The arms can float up and over. And then stepping down to center, this time the wrists cross down low. The arms float up overhead. Then shift your weight to one side, the arms spread behind. And you can lift your back toes or you can keep it down as the crane takes flight. And then stepping down, the wrist cross, the arms float up. And then shifting your weight to the other side, spread your wings behind. Once again, you can always keep the toe down. You can hinge from the hip. Stepping down, the arms float all the way up and over. Hands float down, palms face up, one hand on top of the other. This hand here floats all the way up and over down the center line of the body. Other side, breathe in as the hand floats up, breathing out, centering. Calming the heart, calming the mind. Creating presence, feeling centered. One more time. This time, both arms float all the way up and over, just as much as you can. The hands float down as you soften the hips and knees. Circle the hands in front. Gather in the energy to transform into loving kindness, self-compassion right at the heart. And then down. One more time. Breathe in as you rise up. Breathing out, floating down. This time making a diamond shape with the hands in front of the heart. Press out, opening the heart. Sending out loving kindness to the world. May all beings be free from suffering. May they be happy. May they be healthy. May they live with ease. Then turning your palms to face yourself, the hands come to the heart. May I be kind to myself. May I feel connected with all beings. May I love myself just as I am. And the hands can float down to the lower abdomen. Step your feet together or as close as you can. And close your eyes or keep a soft gaze. And let your body rock and sway ever so gently. Like bamboo in the wind. Feeling the sensations in the body that arise. Feeling the sensations of the breath. And bringing your attention into your heart, creating an inner smile. Express gratitude to yourself for being here today. And if your eyes were closed, you can slowly open them. The hands can come together in front of the heart. And we can finish with a bow. Thank you all so much for joining me for this Tai Chi Flow for Balance. All right, I'd love to hear how you're feeling right now. So type in the comments, let me know how you're feeling. All right, and then we'll do our bonus lesson now. I'm gonna show you one of the best exercises you can do for balance in addition to your Tai Chi. All right, feeling very good, thanks Marty. Feeling calm, relaxed, awesome. All right. Feeling balanced, awake, energized, and wonderful. Awesome. Crane makes me joyful. I love that. Not hurting now. Great. Helping the mind and the body. Well, thank you so much for sharing all that. Oh, we have a question. Oh, I'll get there soon is the question. Yes. So the thing with balance is you just have to do it a lot. All right. So for those that don't know, I'm also a physical therapist. So I've worked with probably thousands of patients now. And I found that the people that do the best are the ones that do a little bit every day, even if it's not much. It's consistency that matters, mostly because if you don't get in the habit, then you tend to just stop altogether. 
And so even doing a little bit each day, you're gonna have the best results, which is why I created the new program called Balance, 30 Days of Tai Chi. So the, once again, the link is in uh, the description of this video, and you'll make sure to register. It's a free program. Share it with friends and family too, please, so that more people can benefit from this practice. They'll get a, a new video every day for 30 days. All right, so it's all pre-recorded, so you can watch it anytime. All right, but you'll probably get the emails, I think, in the morning. I think it's, I'm gonna send them out around like 9 a.m. Eastern time. But once again, you can watch them anytime during the day. And so the key is to do it a little bit each day. And if you do this exercise that I'm about to show you now, in addition to the Tai Chi, you're gonna be doing great. All right, maybe even within a week, you'll see difference. For many people, you'll see a difference within a week. However, a lot of people might need a few weeks, so which is why there's a 30-day program. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really amazing to, that you can see some great, uh, especially with balance. Sometimes when you have pain, it can be variable. Sometimes with strength, it takes at least usually four to six weeks. But balance, you start to see some immediate changes right away, so it's really cool. So, all right. So this exercise, you'll wanna grab a chair or stand near a wall or hold on to a friend if you have one close by. I'm gonna grab my chair just to, for demonstration. All right, if you do have a chair, make sure it doesn't have wheels because then it'll roll out from under you. We don't want that. So the purpose of the chair is to give you some support for safety. All right, especially if you know your balance is impaired. You wanna make sure that we're not getting hurt trying to improve our balance. All right, but we'll have this here for safety, all right? And so what we're gonna do is the single leg stance, all right? So what you do is you shift your weight to one side and then lift your leg up, kind of like we did with the, the crane or even the rooster. Right? You just hold it up and count to 10 seconds. All right, and if you can get to 10, then you're at less risk for falling. So that's a good thing. All right, try the other side. All right, if, you're, if you um, can't get to 10, that's okay. Just make a mental note of how long you can hold it for. All right, that'll be your baseline. All right, and then if, especially if you do the program, the 30 days, then you can check again after, and then you can see, and some people really need to see the numbers uh, or like to see the numbers, but you'll see, oh, I, I could only do two seconds, and now I can do like 30 or 10 or even eight. You know, the closer you get to 10, the better, because they found through research that if you can hold for 10 seconds on one leg or more, you're at less risk for falling. So it's very evidence-based. All right, now we can do it as an exercise. All right, so shift your weight to one side, and we're gonna hold the leg up for 30 seconds. So don't put the, use your hand if you need to, but don't put the toe down. So use your hand, do it as many times as you want, but what you're gonna be doing is you're training your body to stand on one leg. All right, you're strengthening the stance leg, and you're creating hip strength there too, holding the leg up. So we're building strength and stability and really just giving our body this idea like, oh, this is something that we need to do. This is something that's good, that's safe. All right, because a lot of times with balance, it's fear that prevents us from actually getting results. All right, let's do the other side. So one of the number one risk factors for falling is fear of falling. I know it sounds kind of like, well, it's kind of hard to not be afraid if you're gonna fall, right? That's why Tai Chi and this exercise are gonna be so beneficial because it's gonna give you confidence. All right, the more confident you are, the less likely you actually are to fall. So they found that through research too. All right, so build your confidence through Tai Chi and balance training. All right, this will build your strength, stability, and just make you feel more balanced and stable in life. All right, let's do one more round on each side. All right, so two sets each. So one set is 30 seconds, and then this is our second set. You wanna do this every day. All right, unless you get really sore, then you know, take a day off, let yourself recover. Most people, this won't probably cause too much soreness. So, all right, other side. But if you do, that's okay. It's just your, butt, your muscles getting stronger, actually. But, you know, just go easy with yourself. All right, so that's two sets. I don't know if that was exactly 30 seconds, but you, you get the idea. <laughs> so you can use a timer, or you can just count your breaths. You can just count five slow, deep breaths. And that usually comes out to around 30 seconds. Or you can set a timer or a stopwatch or just watch a clock. Or you can count to 30. I guess there's lots of ways you can do it. Um, but yeah, the key is just to do it every day and you can do it anytime too. So say you're, if, if, does anyone here have a microwave? 
So if you do, there's always like that one minute where you can't really do anything else except stand there and wait for the one minute, because what are you gonna do in a minute? And so what you can do is your exercise. So you can do 30 seconds on each leg. So that's a great way you can integrate balance training into your daily life. All right, and then maybe sink the chi a few times to bring in the mind-body aspect if you like to. Um, or if you're brushing your teeth, actually that makes it a lot harder because now you're causing a perturbation, it's called, or you're causing this, this uh, this external kind of uh, challenge. All right, so, but if you want to try it when you're brushing your teeth, then you get extra points. <laughs> Once again, make sure you, you have something to hold on to, though, for safety. All right, you can even do it waiting in line at the bank or the store. You know, you can just kind of shift your weight to one side and maybe just lift it a little bit so no one even knows. All right, but you're just balancing. Yeah. But just be careful if you have to hold, make sure you know the person if you go to grab, <laughs> if you go to grab onto them for balance. All right, so that is some of the best, well, that is the best exercise you can really do because it trains you to really have more stability and balance, reducing your fall risk. All right. So let me know um, if that's helpful. Type in helpful in the, in the comments. All right, and I wanted to sh finish with a quote for you. I like to finish off with a little mindfulness, a little mindful quote for the day. All right. And so this one's actually on forgiveness. And so one of my main practices in mindfulness is forgiveness. I found some of the most transformation that I've ever experienced was through forgiveness. And it's one of the hardest things to do. But this quote is really good. And this one is from... Let's see. Oh, I don't have the author. I think I deleted the name of the author. I'll get back to you with the name of the author, but it's still a great quote. It's, and the author said, forgiveness is not a sign of weakness, but a symbol of strength. It is an act of self-love and liberation. All right, so it's okay. You, and when it comes to forgiveness, um, what always helped me too is that it's not always about forgiving uh you know, it's not like condoning the action. It's about forgiving the person, right? But not necessarily the action. We don't have to necessarily allow whatever happened to happen again. But if we create, if we allow ourselves, we practice forgiveness, then we can release so much tension and stress. We can let go of the suffering that we're continuing to have, all right? So let me know if you have any experience with forgiveness. Either way, if it's hard, if it's easy, or if there's something you do that's really helped, or if there's a special, uh, something that's happened to you that's really helped relieve tension and stress using forgiveness. Yes, Dolly, re forgiveness releases the negative bond, exactly. So, all right, well, it's, it's a little counterintuitive to our culture. I think we always think like an eye for an eye, and you know, but honestly, I, I do believe that that only hurts ourselves, so. All right. Well, thank you all so much. Once again, please register for free for our 30-day program called Balance, 30 Days of Tai Chi. It is starting June 26th. Well, you'll get a welcome video on the 25th, though, and it'll be, you'll get an email every day for 30 days with a free video. It's about 10 to 15 minutes. It's a new video, so I just recorded them all, and you can watch them anytime because they're pre-recorded. And that way you can get in a, a, a short 10 to 15 minute Tai Chi flow every day. Really make it a habit because that's what really helps to improve balance of both the body and the mind. All right, and then once again, if you're a new member, please register for the new member webinar. So both the links are in the description of the video, either above or below or to the side of, the, uh, of this video. And it's going to be this Saturday at 1030 a.m. where we're going to go live via Zoom. So we get to see face to face. I like to try to meet all the students face to face if we can. So you don't have to turn your camera on, but I do recommend it because that's kind of the point is I really want to connect with everyone. And I think that's a great way to do it. So, all right, we, and it'll be probably about a 45 to 60 minute session. We'll do an even longer flow. All right, and yeah. Thank you all so much. Reach out to me anytime. Type in balance if you can't find the link to the 30-day program, or just type in webinar if you can't find that link either, and that's for the new member webinar, and someone from our team will uh, send you the links. 
All right, and I look forward to seeing you in class soon. Peace.